Hey, Andy here from buildahottub.com. In this video, I'm gonna talk about Sparpak pinouts and wires. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so this video is probably one of the less glamorous videos that I've made. It's not gonna have lots of pictures of beautiful hot tubs that my customers have built. In this video, I'm gonna concentrate on the pinouts and wires that you will find in your spa packs. Now, this seems to be one of the more complicated areas, although I don't think it's that complicated, but it's certainly one of the more confusing elements of putting your hot tub together or even putting in a new spa pack and connecting up your pump and your blower. There, there just seems to be a lot of confusion around this topic. So hopefully this video will help you. Now, before I dive in, always a great opportunity to say, please do subscribe to the channel, hit that notification icon to be notified when my videos go live. I do two long form videos just like this every single week, a whole bunch of shorts and everything on this channel focuses around DIY hot tubs, hot tub parts, air source, heat pumps, plunge pulls, and, and pretty much everything in between. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's dive in to spar pack pinouts and wires. So where am I gonna start? Oh, I'm gonna start with the power that's gonna go into your spar pack. So there's a little bit of confusion here because spar packs run on 230 to 240 volts. Now, some of them will run on 115 if you are in the US, but most commonly, spa packs run on 230 to 240 volts, and that's due to the electric heater that is inside. We need the higher voltage to keep the current draw down to a safe level. So that means you're gonna to need to utilize your split system in the US. So that means there's gonna be four wires going into the spa pack. It's gonna look something like this. So that line one and that line two that is coming off your split system, if you're in America, is gonna give you 230 to 240 volts. Now, the other interesting thing that a spa pack does that's probably slightly different if you've done any kind of electrical work with you know, 230 volts again, is the spa pack will actually convert the equipment to be a bit more like a European model. So what do I mean? Well, I mean, for example, a spa pack pump that is 230 volts, it will not have a live one and a live two going into it. It will only have the three cables that will be a live, neutral, and a ground. So it's a little bit confusing if you're used to uh, American style of electricity and certainly running on split systems, you would expect to have two hot wires or two live wires going to the pump. That isn't the case. The spa pack converts all of this for you. So if you have a single speed pump, it will have three cables going to it. It will have a live, a neutral and a ground. Now, if you have a dual speed pump, it will have four cables going to it you will have a high speed, a low speed, a ground and a neutral. And those aren't the same as the two hot legs on a split system. So that's the first thing that hopefully I can clear up for you in this short video. The next thing that I'm gonna cover on this video is the pinouts. And by pinouts, I mean what each of the pins on the connectors that look like this behind me actually do. The top tip and the absolute must here is do not rely on colors, okay? Don't rely on the colors to tell you what the wires are gonna do. Don't rely on copying an image that you found on the internet that has the same colors that the cable just happens to have that came with your pump. You must, absolutely must, I can't stress this enough, you must look at the pinout diagram and that will tell you exactly what the pins will do. Now, a pinout diagram will look something like this. The key to reading a pinout diagram is looking which way the legs are pointing because quite a lot of the manufacturers will actually turn these connectors around. So you're looking for the legs to be pointing in the right direction. You're looking for the flat elements on two out of the four connectors. So as you can see behind me, the dome shaped with a 
a flat on and that will give you which way it's actually going into the spa pack because the spa pack manufacturers flip them over all the time. So looking at a picture, you could end up with your connector in the wrong way round. You end up putting live onto a ground, tripping your breaker and you're wondering what's going on. So look at those pinouts. You're looking for a high speed live, a low speed live, a common and a ground. Don't rely at all on the colors, okay? I keep, I keep stressing this because I've seen so many people do it and it can be problematic. So for example, when you are wiring up your pump, if you've got a dual speed pump, you're looking for those four different pinouts, high speed live, low speed live, ground and common. Over on your pump, you will have four connectors that you're gonna match up to those pinouts. Again, you're not gonna rely on the colors. You're gonna look at a pump circuit diagram and that will look something like this. And it will tell you which of the connectors you're gonna connect each one of those four wires to. Now, this sounds like I'm oversimplifying it here, but I'd hopefully this video will help clear this up for you because I've had so many Customers and non-customers alike make this mistake, try and copy colors and wonder why things just aren't working how they should be. Now, the final thing that I'm gonna cover on this video is the voltages. Now, the voltage of the kit that you're plugging into the spa pack needs to match the settings that you have set for the spa pack and it needs to match the electrical input that is coming into said spa pack. So what do I mean? Well. If you have 230 or 240 volts coming into your spa pack, your spa pack needs to be set up that way. A lot of the spa packs that are able to do both 115 or 110 and 230, 240 volts, they will ship in a set configuration. So do not expect it to be set up exactly how it should be for you out of the box. Go through the manual. I know we don't like reading manuals, but go through, go through the circuit diagrams and you've got to look to check that it is actually set for the voltage that you want to use. Now, a couple of the manufacturers, you know, Balboa, ACC, they both have options for converting your spa packs to those different voltages. So just make sure it's set correctly. The next thing is the kit that you're plugging in. So your pumps, your blowers, they need to match. So if you're running at 230 volts, you need to make sure you are plugging in a 230 volt jet pump or a 230 volt blower. The one area where you can on some of the packs actually configure them to run on 115 or 110 volts is the circulation pumps. Now, some of the Balboa packs, the BP7, which is particularly popular, for example, that will allow you to remove a jumper. I believe it's J20 from memory, but again, check on your uh, actual diagram. But removing that jumper will allow you to run a 110, 115 volt circulation pump through the 220 to 240 volt spar pack. Hopefully I'm not confusing you too much, but my key key takeaway for you is check the pinouts, check the circuit diagrams, and don't rely on the spar pack being set up for you and gonna work straight out the box. Nine times out of 10, they don't. As always, if you've got any questions, if I can help you, then please do get in touch. Always happy to hear from you. I appreciate the view. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video. If you've liked this video, please do like, share and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next video.